every corrupt shelter there will be those in the community to support the corrupt shelter's wrongdoings, and will even help cover up and lie for these corrupt shelters. In Indiana, a friend of a shelter employee who killed a dog went on the news to say people should keep their business to their business. Worker Ashley Chastain accused of illegal ear cropping on dogs at her home on the east side of Indianapolis. 24 Hour News 18 Win is live in the newsroom with more on what Chastain's friends are saying about all of these allegations. A reaction all new at 11. Eight. Lori and Brooke Chastain is facing three felony counts for animal torture or mutilating. Police launched an investigation after receiving a report from the father of her children. Now her best friend tonight telling me the allegations are not true. Now according to court documents, Chastain worked for the Indianapolis Animal Care and Control. She was promoted last year. The father of her children told police she was doing illegal ear cropping on dogs at home and stole ketamine from work to sedate the animals. He described an incident to police. It said in part, Chastain and a friend were trying to crop a puppy's ears, did not have anything to use as anesthetic for the puppy, and taped the puppy's muzzle shut in order to try to perform the cropping. Going on to say, quote, during that time the muzzle was taped shut, the puppy vomited, aspirated its own vomit, suffocated, and died. Documents stated she buried the puppy in the backyard. Her best friend told 24 Hour News 8, she's not that kind of person. Ashley has the biggest heart that, like, I've ever known in my life. Like, I'd be, you know, she's done so much for me, and I love her like a sister, and, you know, I just think people should keep their business to their business. I just Did you hear that? Keep their business to their business. I just think people should keep their business to their business. I just think people should... That is the mentality that the people who support corrupt shelters have. So just because there are members of the community who support a shelter doesn't mean it isn't corrupt. It just means there are some people who are okay with what is happening. I encourage everyone to take a good look at what is happening at your local shelter, and if you see corruption please make it known so that it can be stopped.